So, hi! I'm Michi and that's my channel. You see, I wear the same shirt. What do you see? <laughs> Spesso Patronum. It's so sweet. My daughter bought it in, in London. Not in the... Not in the shop, but uh, in London there are more shops that buy Harry Potter things and that's so sweet for her. Of course, I'm really a big coffee fan. <laughs> and this shirt is so sweet. I uh, like to wear it, although I really critique a little bit about J.K. Rowling. She she lost her mind, I really think. Maybe she we, we should don't buy things from... Uh, but what shall we do? <laughs> it's all in consumerism and marketing and uh, buying things and having things and owning things and loving things and we all live in a consumption world. And like I said in the previous, I really wanted to talk a little bit about consumption. And I'm a hobby channel and solely the most of this is my hobby of puzzles so i'm more or less a puzzle channel and i don't make whole videos not do you know why i don't make whole videos <laughs> it's first of them i don't like making them the second is when i get a puzzle then i get one puzzle one puzzle in a week, in a month, in two months, I don't know. Sometimes when I have like Christmas, five to six puzzle, then I present them before I make uh, other puzzle content video. Of course, first, I don't like making whole videos. And second, I don't buy that much puzzle that it would bring you joy to see them. <laughs> and making whole videos that are long enough to tell you about 20 puzzles. And when you have, when you didn't have 20 puzzles to show, I mean, 20, 10, 6, maybe 3, I don't go shopping with you. <laughs> and my stacks of puzzles that are not puzzle and are in the box and sealed. Uh, now is to zero. I don't have one. <laughs> it's a thing of um, of being responsible with your um, uh, purchases. I don't think that buying puzzles solely to feel better. To buy puzzles only to feel better and not to do this puzzle having them sealed stacked up in cupboards or wherever you store the puzzles that makes no sense for me and i'm really get annoyed in the last time i see so much of these whole videos i mean it's sure when you have a youtube channel and you have a puzzle YouTube channel and you earn money with that. Then what, what would you do with the money? You buy equipment. You price a board. You rent a hall to lay on the other puzzle. And you buy new puzzles. And you present it then. It's okay. I think it's more or less okay. <laughs> But every small channel who started makes the first videos that they have is all the puzzles that I own. And the second is, oh, I have a haul video. And haul videos are really... They popped up. Everyone has haul videos over haul videos and shows puzzles over puzzles. If they are vintage, old, or if they are brand new. If they are gifted from the puzzle brands or they are uh, solely buy of course, oh, that's a nice puzzle. Oh, that's a nice puzzle. Oh, that was a sale and that's 50% off and that was such a good deal. I have to, to buy this. And 
yeah, also the drift, drifting, drifting stores. <laughs> yeah, but this buying puzzles to feel good. It's like to buying clothes that you never wear, you buying things that you never touch. They're standing and only to looking okay when they're only to looking at and you're happy when you're looking at them. It's have a purpose, but to have puzzles in a seal, tons of this, 50, 100, then I think it's too much. And I really have a problem with that. And I really have a problem with that when someone says, sometimes you have to treat yourself. It sounds like it is totally normal and okay to do this. Of course, everyone do this, so it's okay. <laughs> and we all love to collect something. We have this perfect collection from stones to stamps to coins to films to puzzle series. Really? I don't collect every puzzle in a series I normally don't like every picture. Sometimes when there is a something on it, it's like a uh, photo mosaic. I have one photo mosaic puzzle when they are getting up and Ravensburger have one and there are 500 piece puzzles. And I really like this concept and I buy me one. The series was four to five to six puzzles. I could buy me also the whole series, but I don't like all the pictures. I don't. And I buy me one, because I can afford me one. And I puzzle it. And the same goes with the sensory puzzles. I own more, because I really liked it. I really liked the picture. And two of them was in sale. And I knew I love them. So there was no thing of regretting that I bought me this. But the whole series were many, many more puzzles. And I don't buy all this course. Why I should collect a whole series where some pictures are nice and some pictures I don't like. I mean the nature edition. There are nature edition I have collected. Nature edition number four. <laughs> I have not one, two, three, four. I had not one, two, three. And I have now five, six, seven, eight, or how many there are, I don't know. But some there, some are panoramic, some are 500, some are not all fit in my kind of, I wish I have this. I don't collect everything in one series. There are so much series of puzzles, of puzzles they collected together or have the same artists. I don't collect every from the same artists. I don't like the same thing twice. And I don't know if this is a thing of collection. A puzzle is not a collection item. It is a thing of to assemble. It's a thing of to play. It's a thing of uh, having something that's have this tactile, this picture, this form shaping recognition, this structurized, this concentrate clicking together and also a thing of in my mind, then there is free to have thoughts of every day or I tell myself stories while I'm puzzling. There is so much room in a puzzle so much joy in putting them together. It's immensely relaxing. I cannot live without puzzles. I mean, I puzzle my whole life through. So now I'm concentrate on this puzzle channel. I really puzzle more than usually I do. There comes puzzle. I puzzle here and I puzzle there. Sometimes I do other things like crocheting or knitting or paper crafting. I do many things, but with the channel, I usually build a puzzle a day. 
or in a week three to four because every day I'm puzzling and I really don't know I really don't understand people they collecting puzzles to collect puzzle I mean I love to have a new puzzle and when I have a new puzzle then a day or two and then it's open and then a puzzle and that brings me so much joy that I really like here and there to buy me a, even a really bigger puzzles are not so cheap so it's always a should I get me a puzzle or get grocery shopping to have something to eat <laughs> now it's not so bad uh, I can't afford this now but it's it's now that I'm unemployed it's really a thing of I have to reduce buying puzzles and I see all these haul videos and I see all the things of shopping and how there would be environment friendly paper and ink and but there is so much of this so much brands so much small things so much you can collect so much puzzles they are only bought to be bought and not to be puzzled and here is one thought of me every time i bought, buy me a puzzle i look in a picture look how i feel about that look think about have i have a similar one do i really enjoy this do i really need this can i really afford this and when all questions are yes then i get me a puzzle and that's a way of thinking that's more than having a collection treating yourself with something that's more than consumption so the next time you buy a puzzle tell you the question do i really like the picture is it the same as as a other or it's, it's really a unique one that i really wanted can I afford it? And have a have a room and have a puzzles that are not puzzle and do them first. And then think of I want this. That's not a consumption product. It's um, a thing of mindfulness. That's a thing of enjoyment. Didn't spend money on something that's not necessary. And really, all these environment friendly puzzles pollute the environment where, when there are too much of them out there. So think about Is this not necessary for me to live? <laughs> no, that's not the point. You can get the puzzle. But if you have so much that you don't have done and you have a stack of puzzle, then maybe, maybe building them first and enjoying them. That's the main point of a puzzle, enjoy your puzzles. I hope that was a point relatively connected <laughs> and uh, getting the message from me to you. I don't want to reduce your fun when you have this fun and enjoyment of buying new things, but maybe a little bit more thinking is sometimes a good idea. <laughs> And so uh, we all, yeah, <laughs> and so we all decided in this way, when we all get a little bit less, then it would be better for everything, for our environment, for our society, for everything. I think reduce the consumption 
is a good thing sometimes. And not buying things only to own them or to feeling good while you're buying them. Yeah, I think that's the main point. I don't want to, to I don't want to sound that that negative course. I don't want to want it to reject everything. I mean, I buy me puzzle too. And I think it's okay. <laughs> I don't want to be overboard and I don't want to make a whole video and I don't like to watch all videos. It's it's hilarious. <laughs> so many things and so many so so less time to do them all. That's that's stupid. <laughs> yeah. I hope you Enjoy your puzzles now really more because you have this enjoyment of this one puzzle and it's this day and this hour you spend and it's that what you like then then it's a good hour. Not going shopping, but building your puzzles. <laughs> yeah, I think I've reached the point of ending. <laughs> Hopefully it's it's now the, the video will get really out because I tried to do this four to six times. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> so have a nice day, evening, morning, midday, whenever and wherever you watch my video and hope we see each other in the next. Bye.